Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, I am Randy with Beyond Limits of Palm Beach Mobile Detailing. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to properly clean and detail your engine safely. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Alrighty guys, so in today's video, we're actually not gonna be using any running water or even a pressure washer. I'm just gonna be using some chemicals and some brushes that is offered today's video, just to show you beginners out there that you can actually wash an engine, clean an engine, detail an engine with just the simple tools and be effective. So I'm actually not a big fan of washing your engine with a water or a pressure washer, but this can all depend on who you actually talk to. Just because I wouldn't wash or detail an engine with a pressure washer running water from a garden hose doesn't mean it's not doable i know of many detailers who have been in the game maybe 10 20 years and have always washed an engine with a pressure cleaner or garden hose running water and have no problems whatsoever so the reason i'm not using a pressure washer or a garden hose running water in general is because i want to lessen the risk of damaging any electrical component or getting anything wet that shouldn't get wet within the engine bay there is no doubt that cleaning an engine bay can be overwhelming for the beginner out there or even a detailer in general but i would want to say guys my best recommendation is just use common sense as long as you use common sense there will be no problems whatsoever when cleaning and detailing an engine bay so originally i was going to show you guys how to detail your engine with the steam cleaner today however i thought let me go ahead and show them just the basic of the basic and then maybe later on in a second video show them with an actual steam cleaner on how to clean and detail your engine bay so for today's video guys we're actually going to be using our shop back we're actually going to be using the blower portion of this shop back but if you guys also have an air compressor that'll do as well an air compressor or a handheld blower or just a leaf blower in general guys we are also going to be using some super clean guys here i have super clean and a pump sprayer uh, diluted four to one we also have the super clean aerosol can and we have some brushes we have this big brush right here and some detailing brushes over here that we're going to be using to clean the engine bay so here I have some all-purpose cleaner guys. The reason I have it out is because I wanted to mention to you all that if the engine that you're cleaning is not that dirty, you can always just use an all-purpose cleaner. This will do. However, if your engine is really bad and really dirty, you can always just use super clean, dilute it maybe four to one, use it strongly, and go ahead and clean your engine with some super clean degreaser. Alrighty guys, before we go ahead and begin the actual detail, we're gonna go and take some precautionary measures. I have here a 10 millimeter wrench. And what I'm gonna do now is disconnect the battery terminal. So I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the negative battery terminal first, then the positive. This will avoid possibly short anything out within the actual engine bay one more precautionary tip guys is go ahead and find your alternator see where it may be located at within the engine bay and see if it's actually exposed out in the front if it is guys you want to go ahead and cover it with a plastic bag or just use a simple microfiber towel that you're ready to dispose of and cover it so on this engine bay guys that we're going to be working on today the alternator is not entirely exposed up top but it is down there where i can see it so i know that if water leaks down it will jump into it so what, all i'm going to do guys is go ahead and get an old microfiber towel and just place it on top that way if there's any water that leaks down it will go into the microfiber towel rather than the actual alternator And this part of the video, guys, is brought to you by Jobber. Jobber is a software I like to use to run my business because it helps me handle many of my everyday tasks that come along running a detailing business. And quite frankly, when you are running any home service based business. One of the advantages I love about Jobber is how much time it can actually save me throughout the day by allowing me to complete tasks like creating different codes, booking in jobs, completing invoices, and collecting payments all in one place. I enjoy the fact that I can manage my entire operations all in one place because overall, it allows me to stay organized and up to date. Another feature I love from this software, and I'm sure everybody would agree with me, is the ability to get paid faster using jobber you can expect to get paid faster with online quotes online invoices and jobber payments themselves if you want to check jobber out make sure you click the link down in the description and receive a free 14-day trial and an exclusive discount of 20 percent off your first six months when you happen to use my link so you're welcome guys now back to the video so one of the first steps guys in order to clean your engine bay you want to go and grab your blower guys so here i'm using the shop back the blower portion and what i'm going to do next guys is just blow out any dust or debris Again, guys, if you have an air compressor, or if you have a handheld leaf blower, or just a general leaf blower, guys, you can also use that. In this case, I'm using a shop back, the blower portion. Once you're finished, guys, if there's still any leaves or debris stuck in little nooks and crannies, you can just go ahead and put it out with your hand or just use your vacuum, guys, and get in those little nooks and crannies and uh, vacuum up that debris.
So now that we're done blowing or vacuuming any loose dirt or debris on top of the engine, guys, we're gonna go ahead and get to the actual cleaning. But really quick, guys, I just wanted to say, you always wanna set expectations with the customers. So you wanna see if they want maybe a showroom shine result or do they just want to improve the current condition and make it look a lot better. So in this case, guys, in this video, we are just trying to clean and improve the look of this engine bay using the products and tools I mentioned earlier. So for our second step, guys, we're gonna go ahead and actually apply our degreaser. So here I have super clean diluted four to one. It is a degreaser, guys. And we're gonna go ahead and start from the top to the bottom. So I'm gonna work on the hood first before going on working on the actual engine so let's go ahead and spray this onto the actual hood guys and what we're going to do is we're going to work in sections you can always just choose to work at it all at once but me personally i like to do it section by section And once I am done with the agitation, guys, I'm going to go ahead and grab our sprayer bottle with water and a microfiber rag. So I'm going to go ahead and dry this off before it actually dries off, guys, real quick. That's what we want to work in sections. I'd recommend working in sections. And we have our sprayer bottle. Just if anything dries off, guys, we'll just hit it and uh, clean it as well with the water in the sprayer bottle. As you saw, guys, I actually didn't use some little detailing brushes just because the actual underhood, it's actually a pretty flat surface. So this big old brush will do it. You don't actually need to use the actual interior detailing brushes, guys. That'll be more for the actual engine. And just like that, guys, is how we clean section by section. As you see, we clean this half first, so you'll be able to see a night and day difference between the left side and the right side. Now, let me go ahead and repeat the same process, guys, on this other half, and let's get the second curl. And just like that, guys, we're all finished up cleaning the underhood of this vehicle, guys. So I just wanted to say it is some elbow grease, though, so you want to take that in consideration when you want to choose whether you're going to clean the engine base with the pressure washer or just, you know, with the simple degreaser, guys, and a rags and some brushes. And I do also want to mention, guys, that you definitely want to have a spray bottle with water just so it can help you, you know, clean up those dry spots as well as get rid of all the super clean degreaser that is left on the underhood. Moving on to the actual engine, mate, guys, let's go ahead. I'm just going to show you real quick, guys, that you can attack this with different products, guys. For example, here I have my APC. Let me just go ahead and spray this, the upper cleaner on here. Let me go ahead and use my super clean diluted 4 to 1 on this half of this uh, plastic panel, guys. And let me go ahead and grab my super clean aerosol can, guys, and just spray some of that on here. So as you see, three different products, guys. Super clean aerosol can, super clean diluted 4 to 1, and my all-purpose cleaner. Now let's get to agitating, guys. And once you're finished, we can go ahead and start drying it. And if you happen to need some extra water, guys, just to get rid of all that off the cleaner, just do a little quick spray. Okay. And just clean it up, dry it up really nice, guys. Again, this is just an example, guys, just to show you that you can use an all-purpose cleaner. It usually just depends on how bad your engine actually is, whether it's really dirty or if it's not that dirty, guys. You'd go ahead and make that decision yourself. Now let's move on to the actual super clean diluted for the one. And real quick, let me just go ahead and wipe it off. Again, if you guys have some dry spots here and there, or if you just want to make sure you get rid of that super clean, guys, just spray some water on it, light misting from the spray bottle, and wipe it off. Last but not least, guys, here we have the super clean in the aerosol can again. Let's go agitate it. I will mention that using the super clean aerosol can, guys, it makes your job a lot easier just because you can spray it all real quick. And it's really foamy, guys, so it has some nice foam action to it. And if you want to make sure, guys, you get rid of that super clean degreaser, spray some quick water on it. Let it hit for a couple, maybe five seconds, guys. And let's go back again to drying it. And you want to definitely get the nooks and crannies, guys, here and there. So right here, it's pretty dirty, guys. So if we can access it, we'll go ahead and do just that, guys. If you can't, that's understandable. But when you ever can access it, guys, and get to cleaning it, let's make sure we clean them, guys, just to have the best possible results. 
And just like that is how you can clean your engine bay with all these three different products, guys. So we had the super clean aerosol can here, just normal super clean here, diluted four to one. And we had here our all-purpose cleaner, guys. Any all-purpose cleaner will do. Now, guys, let's go ahead and finish the rest of the detail cleaning this engine bay, guys. For the rest of the detail, I am going to be using my pump sprayer, which has super clean in it, diluted four to one. And we're only going to be using this. If I feel like I need to, I will go ahead and use a super clean aerosol can or the APC. But for now, this will do, guys. And we are going to be working on the engine bay in section, guys. So from left to right in section. So let me just go ahead and start spraying, guys, around this section right here. I do want to mention, the guys, that when you see cables like this, you just want to be extra careful, guys. So just make sure that you don't wet it. Uh, you know, try to do your best as possible to avoid it, work around it, and see how you can go around all the cables and components. And just like that, guys, we're already finished with this one section here. So like I said, we are working in a section, guys. And just want to mention that if you feel like you didn't clean it enough, you can always give it a second pass, guys. For the sake of the video, though, we are good to go. So now that we're all finished up cleaning the entire engine, guys, our last step, guys, step number five is gonna go ahead and blow the actual engine once more, guys. Just make sure that any water that may be in the little corner and cracks, guys, we're just gonna blow it out. And just like that is how you clean and detail your car's engine bay. Now, all there is left to do, guys, and don't forget, remove either a microfiber towel or a plastic vacuum alternator and connect back the battery terminals to the battery, guys. Now, if you guys want to take an extra step further and really make your engine base shine and pop, you can go ahead and grab yourself a protectant, whether it's a rubber or plastic dressing, guys. For example, here I'm using BRP from Chemical Guys, which is the vinyl, rubber, and plastic protectant, guys. And what this will do, it will make the trim in here, the black, all shine and pop. Give it that nice look at the end. And just like that, guys, we have the final results here. If you guys want to see the comparison, here is the before and here is the after. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. One more last thing, guys, you want to go ahead and clean up the surrounding areas from the engine, guys. That way, if you had any overspray all around, you want to go ahead and take care of that, clean it off. For example, the windshield uh, here on the front bumper, maybe the headlights. Just go ahead and take care of it right away uh, once you are done, guys. All right, Randy, golden question of the day. Will the car start? Well, there's only one way to find out. On a serious note, if you didn't detail the engine this way, what other way would you have done? So I would have done the same thing I did today and then in addition, use the steam cleaner. And which method would you prefer? Just some brushes with the greaser or the steam cleaner method? Well, if I'm being honest, I would probably take out the steamer. It just makes your life a lot easier. This is still doable. It's just a lot more elbow grease like I mentioned earlier. So just want to point that out to the beginners out there that um, you can definitely get the job done with just uh, the greaser and some brushes. It is just a lot of elbow grease, guys. So it takes a little bit more time and effort. Would you say detailing an engine bay is on the easier or harder end? 
if I'm being completely honest, it's really easy. You just want to be very careful when you are working on the engine. Again, most definitely, and I can't stress this enough, you always just want to use your common sense. As long as you use common sense, you'll be good to go. And what are some tips you'd suggest for a detailer who wishes to detail engine bays with a pressure washer? Well, the fact of the matter is you are never sure of the condition of an engine. So overall, I would tell all you guys, it is definitely a risk, a liability concern, and a liability issue. So especially with much older vehicles, I would definitely recommend to everybody out there that if possible, draw up an agreement, a contract, stating that you are not liable for any damages when detailing an engine because there may be possibility of it having pre-existing damages guys for example you know cracked air boxes cracked hoses you know leaks here and there so you don't want to end up getting blamed for any of that stuff or when you were not at fault and is it wrong to detail an engine bay with a pressure washer or garden hose basically running water absolutely not you just want to figure out what you feel most comfortable doing and what best works out for you whether that's using a pressure washer or a steam cleaner or even only using a microfiber towel and some degreasers would you recommend upcoming detailers to start off this way when cleaning an engine bay well it really comes down to the detailer itself what they feel most comfortable doing i would suggest you know start off with the most easy and the basic way of cleaning an engine bay and move up so maybe you know the first time you're cleaning with a you know a microfiber towel and some degreasers the second time maybe you bring on a steamer the third time you know you start experimenting with a pressure washer and go on from there you know take it stage by stage i know we all want to start off with the pressure washer you know we want to seem professional but at the end of the day you want to be more cautious of the engine you want to be cautious of the customer you know your professionalism shows when you do things like this in a stage by stage process there you guys have it thank you so much for watching i hope you all enjoyed the video if you did make sure you smash that like button leave a comment down below and press that subscribe button as always guys and girls see you on the next one